Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're going to do another reaction video, but this one is a video that was filmed in Wellington that's called What Do New Zealanders Think About Americans? I haven't seen it. I'm so curious because if you don't know me, we are a family of six that have moved to New Zealand from the U.S. and have been here for eight years and have lived in Wellington. So I was excited that this was recorded in Wellington and it was only about three years ago. So let's dive in. James Prime here, and today I'm in the Windy City, the other Windy City, which is Wellington, New Zealand, the capital of New Zealand, and following the formats of my other videos, I'm going to go around and ask what New Zealanders think of Americans slash America. Oh, yeah. Love it. Let's see Wellington. First question is, have you ever been to America? No. 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 Yeah, so it was, I think, when I was two, so I don't remember it. I've been there once. I was there for one week. Yes, I have been. So I um, I was in Seattle for a couple of years, San Francisco for a year, and then in like middle America for four years. What are your general thoughts on America? Uh, to be honest, anything I've heard about America was Trump building some wall or something like that, um, and which I don't agree on, but yeah, that's my personal opinion. They seem really um, patriotic. Yeah, it was like really passionate yep. about their country. Um, Huge. Yeah, big, big place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, America was definitely the home of the free. It was where democracy was and there was that feeling. Mm -hmm. um, but right now in our current stage, uh, it's going through massive change. Yeah. And it's, no one really knows how it's going to come out the other side. I love America, so I would live there, like for sure. Um, I think the people are amazing, the food's amazing. Um, some of my best friends are there now. Like, I would consider it to be more of my home than here, oh, right. which is interesting. Yeah. I love America. I really love I think I could live there if I could. I really love it. Lots of, like, kind of fast food. Um, but, yeah. like, kind of a lot of things are possible. Like, you know, like a, compared to New Zealand, a lot of things you can kind of can happen. Um, mm. And, it's, yeah, it's quite like a busy place. I think America is a very polarized country. I think it's really different between state to state. And of course it would be it's so vast. And like comparative to New Zealand, we're like such a small island that's quite a bit more homogenous. But um, I, it's funny you guys saying opportunity because I think there is a lot of opportunity, but the opportunity comes a lot of sacrifice, which I feel as though in New Zealand, there's perhaps more of a safety blanket for the people that don't. So my experience yes. in the States is in Kansas was in the airport, there's always people begging and it's mm. it's quite forward in your face there rather than mm. here it's a bit more mellowed out. What are your general thoughts on Americans? Uh, they're quite welcoming when you want to have a conversation with them. Um, but I don't, I'd love to have a media as one, though, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but just off the movies, oh, they're pretty hard, hard to follow. <laughs> um, they're quite, or quite, like, quite loud, but like, um, they're really um, you know, outgoing people, I think, yeah. the ones I've met. So, I've never yeah. really met an American. I think oh, right, you're the okay. first. Um, but you seem nice. <laughs> but Sometimes there is a little bit of ignorance, but I guess that's with any culture and any country you have. But... I find Americans extremely uh, friendly. And we've heard that feedback from Americans about us. Yes. But it's in a different way. Right. right. Different kind of friendliness. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there, there is definitely... Americans are very friendly people, I, from my experience. For me, so I've, I'm in the startup scene and we've got a really big issue in New Zealand which is called tall poppy. So like when we're successful, we dumb it down. Not dumb it down, but we like tone it down so we don't like to put our successes on other people. Right. Whereas in the States, it's like I feel like everyone's championing each other and everyone's so much more excited about mm, the opportunities and like, you know, how you're doing better on the world stage and like everything that you're doing, whereas in New Zealand, it's a lot different than that. So mm -hmm. I just feel like the support in the States is so much more amazing and mm -hmm. friends are more excited to be there for you. And whereas over here, it's like, oh, you're doing something amazing. Like don't tell anybody because you're going to get really um, scared about it. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just want to comment on that that last bit. That's very interesting. Yeah, because I've run my own businesses and I think, I think I just want to note that when people are, they're not necessarily like putting you down or anything, but what it, what you notice is that it's little comments. It's not like this overt, you know, you need to step down, you're being too high on your horse or anything. It's more of like these, it's a little bit passive aggressive, as I've talked about before, and um, little comments 
about what you're doing and why you would do that and kind of making fun of it a little bit, which is the way of kind of cutting you down from that Paul, that tall poppy, that Paul Toppy, that <laughs> tall poppy syndrome. So, um, yeah, so that's interesting. Hmm. Kind of stand for like one thing and one other thing. It's quite black and white, which I find. And I find sometimes people can be quite black and white about things. Just really, I think really nice people when I think of Americans. My stereotype for Americans is quite like forward spoken, like a very like opinionated with their things. Um, and then they won't be ashamed to sort of speak their mind. Um, I work with a couple of Americans and they've always just been like, this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. And there's less room for compromise. But also in saying that there are heaps of exceptions to the rule. And I think you can sort of see where people come from in the States a bit and it shines through. Yeah. It's what true. is something you like about America? I think it's NFL. Is oh, it NFL? Okay. NFL, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, NFL. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'd okay. love to play that. Definitely the music and stuff, like oh, rap yeah. and yeah, but they're like festivals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Probably the theme parks, the amount of theme parks they have. Yeah. Yes. We only have one here. Have yeah. you guys like roller coasters? Oh, okay. Well, it's Cedar Point. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Well, probably the first thing that probably comes to mind is the different types of fast foods you get. Like, you've got like a whole bunch of different things for kind of the same thing, yeah. but they're all kind of very different. Yeah, yeah. Like, you go to like a burger joint place, yes. they're all different compared to New Zealand where it's just Burger King or Maccas. Right, right. So that's probably one thing, and probably the food portions. Like our, our, what well, our large cup would be like this, would be like your guys small. It's like ridiculous. The food in America is brilliant, and there's so much of it. <laughs> Love the history of it because uh, it's pretty unique about how 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 it started and how it grew. Right. I love the spirit of um, rebelliousness in that day. Yeah against you know the english uh, actually one of the most amazing things that come out of america is the constitution very very beautiful document I just love the energy like for me the energy in america is a lot different like everyone's i feel everyone's really motivated everyone's doing something everyone wants to be doing something confident motivated two things off the top of my head would be uh pink lemonade <laughs> i love the pink lemonade froth that everywhere I go pink lemonade and, and how you get refills with that, like free refills, oh, so yeah. dope. Um, and then I loved Arizona. Like, honestly, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Such right. a cool place, yeah. What I like is that I feel like if you go to a state, you, a different state, you're going to feel like you're in a different, like, country. Like, from what I've seen, I know that there's little places that look like Belgium and, like, all these different areas. So I think that's really cool. Um, I also like how I feel like there's, yeah, so many opportunities there to succeed, um, obviously with hard work, though. Uh, waffles and yeah. dining. I love a diner culture. That'd be, it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. mm. yes. What is something you do not like about America? I, I think definitely for, for me anyway, it would definitely be its opinion on gun violence and how that, it, to me, is like controversial. I, I can't see how, to me anyway, how it should be controversial. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it should just be black and white about something like that. The rest of the world uses the metric system. Why doesn't America use the metric system? I haven't quite formulated my final opinion on this, but how America will get involved in so many things around the world. There's times when I think, you know, maybe in that situation, America should step out. What I don't like about it is the traffic. <laughs> like the traffic in LA can just like die. die. Like, <laughs> like it just shouldn't be a thing. So I drove in the States for three years and I was terrified about getting pulled over. Oh, yeah. And here it's like, I wouldn't even think twice. Like a, a cop would pull me over in New Zealand. And I'd be like, oh, hello. Like, how are you? I'd be like, cool. You know what you were doing? And you'd be like, yeah, okay. I was going like a little bit over the speed limit. Yeah. Over there, I was absolutely terrified to get pulled over. Mm. I don't know why. It was just like this irrational fear. But I think over there, like you're, it's more seen, cops over there are seen, like they uh, contribute to fear. Oh, right, yeah. If that makes sense. Whereas I wouldn't think of New Zealand police. Like, I wouldn't see a policeman driving around. I wouldn't say, oh, um, like, I, that's, it doesn't bring up any fear for me. Whereas yeah. I see a cop in the States, I'm like, oh, why are they here? Like, they've got a gun. You know, it's all of these things that we're just not used to here in New Zealand. Yep. You could just see the difference between, like, the rich and the poor. Like, it's oh, so yeah. obvious. Mm -hmm. And the whole race thing, I think it's still a big problem over there even if they say it's not yeah. Yeah. that's definitely what I experienced in New York right. um, 
not so much anywhere else, but yeah, I just feel like it's still there and they're trying to ignore it. The same field. Um, I just think the racism there, the discrimination, um, you know, you see it every day. Yeah, just seeing how prevalent it is and how in your face and yet people are still trying to deny that it's occurring. And obviously I think um, Donald Trump isn't really doing much to help. Um, the ego, the American ego, sort of like prostrated on the rest of the world. Like, we're going to do this way or you can get lost. And it's sort of like, well, as a small country, we know that we have to cooperate and the world should be cooperating for things like climate change and like big issues that are pressing on us. And when the states are so against it and not willing to cooperate and they're not leading that charge, then it's just we're not going to get anywhere. Could you give us your best American accent? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Shai. I come from the far north in New Zealand. I sound like an islander, and that was my attempt. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, my name is Zach, and uh, I like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> uh, hi there, folks. Uh, it's a great day, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> tackles, could you get me some tackles? <laughs> Can I please have a glass of water? <laughs> Hi, my name is Meg and my favorite food is a roast. <laughs> That's perfect. They should really good. All right. That was great. I have not seen that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to talk too much more because that was really long. If you want to subscribe to the channel and click the like, I would appreciate that or shout me a coffee. I will see you guys next week.